Okay, so we start the timer now, so that's 12.36. Yes, yes. Tiffany Harrison sets a two-hour timer for a bumblebee survey. With nets in hand, members of the Métis Nation of Alberta's Environment and Climate Change team roam a stretch of land in Lamont County. So we kind of just wander around until we see certain things in bloom, and then we might sit and wait a bit to see if anything lands there, or you might just come across some good activity on flowers. She spots a patch of yellow flowers, invasive to the land. So all this yellow here is perennial sow thistle, which is not a native species. Um, but it is something that we do see bumblebees using, so in that kind of respect, doesn't make it a terrible plant. <laughs> this is the nation's first Indigenous protected and conserved area. Jordan York, conservation manager with the MNA, says the idea of protecting bumblebees came straight from the Métis citizens of Alberta. They really want to protect everything and keep things very natural and uh, functioning as a, a healthy ecosystem. And so the bees are a part of that. They're pollinators. They're making sure that those flowers that inspire Métis floral beadwork are essentially out there on the landscape and still there to you know, provide for all the other animals out here as well. The team is out to collect any bumblebee they can find. Harrison spots a red belted bumblebee worker sitting on a flower. Uh, so when you're netting flying insects, once she notices that we have her here, usually you are supposed to hold the net right up. The team traps the bees in vials, being careful not to be stung. So this looks like a red belted bumblebee worker. The team notes which species they found and what flowers they prefer to pollinate on, later returning them to the land. All this while keeping an eye out for two species at risk, including the gypsy cuckoo bumblebee. This is Bombus behemicus is its Latin name. So it is listed as endangered federally under the Species at Risk Act. So pretty high level there. So that's why we were really excited to find one last year and we have found one this year. It's one of the big reasons we kind of started this project. And a second species, a little less elusive. Our second species is the yellow-banded bumblebee, or Bombus tericula is its Latin name. So that species is listed as special concern, so much lower tier than our gypsy cuckoo, but still really important for us to monitor and be proactive. Of the over 800 bumblebees they've found this year, only 15 of them were yellow-banded bumblebees. But what is causing these populations to decline? Researchers say climate change is changing their ecosystem, leaving species living in areas where heat waves are frequent and severe more at risk. Bumblebees are not very heat tolerant. A long time ago, maybe 30 million years ago, they evolved under cool or tempered conditions and they have never really, as a, as a group, evolved the capacity to do well in really hot weather. In the face of growing urbanization, Harrison says it's important to recognize how pivotal bumblebees are to our ecosystem. And bumblebees are extremely efficient pollinators. In general, bees are because they have specialized structures and hairs to help transport our pollen between flowers, which, you know, turns into pollination and gets us our beautiful flowers and our crops and everything we love, uh, plants we harvest from, um, berries we eat. She says by protecting and conserving their lands, Bumblebees can continue to call Alberta home for years to come. Stephanie Cram, CBC News, Lamont County.